So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Serbia against Croatia. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Serbia proudly line up for their national anthem. Serbia line up in a 3-4-3. Yeah, and it's a very effective system for me that can retain width through both wing-backs while the wider attackers like to just tuck inside. the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture the exciting Ivan Perisic uh, tall and rangy but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention can he finish Rakitic he's had a shot shoots Serbia have created a real intensity from the start and there's no sign of any let up to throw he's made sure that that won't get through Mandzukic really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out played out to the wing he's got options out wide going through turns and goes he's had a go oh extraordinary Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Well, when both teams are going about their business in, in such an attacking fashion, I think we're on a winner here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chooses to go back. A chance! Hits one! Oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Serbia with another corner. He'll have a dip! Lacking in accuracy. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. 
Serbia are really asking all the questions and the opposition look stuck for words. It'll be a throw-in. Rakitic. That's offside. Yes, it is. Well, he now knows that he has to lock in the timing. Success and failure depends on it. has got good distance on that and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing and Jukic needed to come up with a better ball Munz. he's gone for it good try the outcome could so easily have been different his reputation is better than what we've just seen Vida. Rakitic. Out to the left it goes. He's having a look round. Badel. Modric. Perisic. contact nothing on the shot his radar picked up on that very quickly and he was first to react Very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. It so nearly came off for him, but that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, uh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Away from immediate danger. That's the throw. Over to the left. Goes for goal. Jim, your thoughts? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Serbia give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Patel. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Now the pass. Oh, it's opened up nicely for. Can he put it away? A potential goal of the season contender, if only. 
Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. And it's Patel. Long and high towards the flank. Patel tried to play it through. Patel clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Spreads it wide. Just brushed off the ball there. Rakitic, Mandzukic, gets a good foot in there, passes it through, and it's Mandzukic. Mandzukic plays it out to the flank. Gets up to head it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Serbia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Forward. Can he finish? There is the half time whistle. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Reflections on the first half? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think. They lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Serbia head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. goes and we start the second half well 1-0 may be good enough so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it they could even try to, to spoil it from here we'll see Perisic with a good steal well played Rakitic, Modric, Brozovic. Brozovic, Rakitic, out wide to the right. And that's well defended. Well, they could break here. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's away. Brozovic. Croatia are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? No, that's not the ball he wanted. Rakitic. And it's Mandzukic. Mandzukic with a long pass out wide. Perisic. Can he deliver? Forward it goes. Croatia showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. 
Richard, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Shot at goal! They've done it! Two up now, and they are cruising. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Serbia take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. And now the breakaway. Big chance! And that's left him on the seat of his pants. And the finish! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Serbia take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. And Jukic. And here's the chance to counter. And it's Mandzukic. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So the main man takes his leave. Feel the ovation. Yeah, I think he'll be OK about that now. I think if the manager had taken him off a goal earlier, I think he would have been a little bit upset about that. But now that he's got his hat-trick, I think all's OK. <laughs> 
Serbia tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Looks to thread it through. Modric. Rakitic. Good idea, just poorly executed. Badel. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. He's left his man. It's admirable, but ultimately he didn't know when to look for support. Shoots! Oh, impressive strike. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. gone out So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Modric. Hoists it high. Brozovic looking to get on the end of this. Defended. That had to be done. Modric. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. The ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. <laughs> Keeper goes long. Tries a through ball. That intervention was very necessary. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Serbia were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. A comfortable win. The end of the game. Reflections. Serbia made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So that's it from us, many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.